Hello everyone, uh, this is 196DevilLizard. Apparently I suck at making these videos. So, um, <laughs> I'm back. And, um, the first thing you guys mentioned... What? Why do you have to fucking ruin Pirate this video now, my friend? Okay, this will be a second, guys. This guy's completely fucked. He's about to be hacked in half. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of You're fucking Steel, dead, bro. The Talati Company are grateful for your timely help in the saving of much profit. You are being promoted. This bastard. I like how I can fly faster than a missile. That's hilarious. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do, first thing I need to do, my bad, is show you how to get the script uh, editor enabled. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go to advance, you're gonna change your name. You're gonna change whatever you had before to, if my music would just turn off, I'll just turn my volume down, there you go. Um, you're gonna change your name to there, and this is case sensitive by the way. Shall, two L's, because when you type, when you press it twice, it only does it once, because it's in, like a brief period where you can't press something again. Anyway, there shall be wings. There we go. And then you save that. It'll uh, it'll freeze for a second. You can go here, advanced global commands, script editor. Then your script editor will be enabled. Um, if you get like a loading thing that's that's typing up here uh, at the top left, just press enter and it'll take you to this menu right here, the script editor menu. Then you go into the script editor, go to new script. Now though, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your ship first. So speed or if you want it to be at the top a dot speed okay so new line uh, trade commands install uh, variable you don't need to, you don't need a variable so no return variable um, this is gonna be player ship this one is what you're going to add it to uh, the second one is the number so the number of units uh, we're gonna go 10 so there we go. Install units of select where. We are scanned. Filter by type, tech. And then you scroll down to engine tuning. Press escape, save it. And then while, you, while your mouse is hovering over the script you want to run, you press R for run, enter, enter. And uh, I already did that once. My last speed was 110. I mean, sorry, 710. So let's see what it is now. 798. So that's how much it added. I hope you know how to fly ships really well. Because this is going to be a bit um, a bit hard for the... Whoa! Jesus fucking Christ. This is going to be a bit hard for the average person to get a hang of. So just be wary of that. I love the way that looks. Anyway. Now I'm going to show you how to get money. Bum 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 ba da da bum bum ba da 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 da. If you want to be at the top, you do a dot money. Yes. Line new line trade commands. Add money to player. This is all very very simple. I figured this out within the first few hours of playing this game. After I got the cheat, of course. Um, this is just going to be a number because all it is is add money to player and then the defined number that you want. So type in some random shit. Save it, go to it, run it, and just do that a few times. I already did it a few times, so my money's maxed out right now at uh, two billion dollars. So, yeah, so that's how much money I got right now. If you want to add money, that's how you do it. Um, you can define any variable you want there. It doesn't have to be what I put in or whatever. So those are those two scripts. Now I'm going to show you, as you can see here, I'm going to show you how to add a, uh, a ship to a sector and then add uh, cargo inside the ship. It's not what you think though. I can't figure it out either. I've looked for multiple YouTube videos on how to do this, but I just can't figure it out. So the closest I can do is, is uh, help you spawn the ship, then get in the ship and arm it yourself by having the install units of thing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, global, script editor, Script editor, new script, 
uh, spawn, we're just going to call it something random, new line, this is going to be a little different. General object commands, create objects, create ship, variable, this is, this has, you don't need a return variable, but I'm going to put one anyway because I, it seems to help the script work. It's like a 50-50 thing. It might work, it might not. It might crash your game, it might not, who knows. So this is just, this is, do it at your own risk, my friend. Uh, this, I'm just going to call it this. Create ship type. Ship, select ship type. You can filter by race. I'm going to go by pirate, which is how I did this one. You can see pirate brigantine. So we're going to select that by clicking it. Go back to select ship type. Oh, you can filter it by type, which is just all this. But yeah. So select ship type, brigantine. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Your owner. You don't select this, true, sector, player, ship, owner, home base, any of that. You go to select race, and you go to your name. Your name usually is somewhere around here, it just depends. Uh, so yeah, so there shall be wings is my current name. Uh, so there. And it'll change it to player. If it didn't change it to player after you selected your name, you did it wrong. That's how you know. So add to, this is going to be where you add it to the sector. So add to sector, you select the sector you're in, or whatever sector you've been to. So Aquila's Beacon is where I am. Uh, as you guys know, I'm pretty sure, 000 is in the exact center, which is where this brigantine is, so... Oh, and here's another thing I discovered. If you have something spawned already in the center of, uh... You save that. In the center of the, um, center of the world, the best part about that is, is the spawn creation of these objects is always different. So, no matter what, it'll you will never have an object spawned inside of another, so... Oh, by the way, I don't suggest you do that for people who have really, really slow computers, but I have a really good computer right now, so that's that. And as you can see, creating wear inside of all of these is going to be a very painful, arduous task. So unless someone can help me out on how to spawn uh, ships with wear in them, which is what I was getting at, then you're completely fucked because I don't know how to do that. So if you're trying to create an army or something, I can't help you there. Sorry, buddy. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to arm this ship. So, eject. Yes. We're going to get in our ship now, our brigantine. brigantine. You can pretty much get in it from however far you want because it's huge. I'm going to press F2 for our secondary view. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. I ra I'm rather fond of its design. I really like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to center it out and do that. So, as you can see, it's really fucking slow. It maneuvers like shit. So... We're going to fix it up a little. We're going to add some shields. We're going to add some weapons. It's going to be great. Before you actually do this, you're going to need to go here. Property, Brigantine, the Info. Worst fears of shipping and trading companies were it's going to need that. So you need to see what type of uh, stuff that you have selected. Stuff that you can that's compatible. So these are compatible uh, things for this specific vehicle. So going here will allow you to see what you can put on this vehicle and what you cannot put on this vehicle. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. Anything that isn't here cannot be un installed on this vehicle. So, so we're going to install a bunch of high energy plasma throwers. So, yes, a bunch of high energy plasma throwers. Sounds great, doesn't it? Oh, great, it didn't save. Wonderful. Be right back. Okay, so, that's that. So now we can run the armament script. So that should be installed now. Uh, let's cycle through our uh, weapons. I need to install each one, so. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I installed it on those. I guess it doesn't install it for all of them. But still, it worked. So let's attack one of my ships, shall we? Is it me or is nothing happening? Yeah, nothing's happening. There we go. It's doing a considerable amount of damage, so they want they, the, whoever is in your enemy ship is in the enemy ship that you're firing upon might want to look the fuck out for close range high energy plasma throwers. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to get shields on in a second. So go here, 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 here. 
here rework your armament script and just install the same amount of thing but with five megajoule shields or whatever so save it armament run it boom your ship is shielded you can dump any excess stuff you don't want by, pr by pressing uh what's what's the fucking key for cargo Singularity engine time accelerator not installed. Oh, you're gonna need one of those too. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, that's only 900 out of 9,000 units you can install. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go set up a, a home base, shall we? All right. So uh, this thing should be turning a lot quicker now. Yes, it is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to another sector. So uh, yeah, west in space. That's um, wonderful. That totally tells you things. Go west! Where's west? Oh, there it is. West gate. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Wow. Yeah. Great. Thanks for showing me that. Um, hold on. Okay. We need a singularity engine time accelerator, so that's another thing. Should be in the S's. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so. Yes, run it. Yes. Okay. What? Okay, thanks for watching.